Okay, so I just got back home and this is day two post microblading. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of scabbed, but not really. It's okay. Um, but I'm overall quite happy with the shape because this is how I usually shape them when I pencil them in. So I'm pretty pleased. I'm basically going to wash my face now and apply the little cream thing. Actually, I have to go through this. Some reusable cleaning pads. These are great for like taking off makeup as well. I need to find out where I can get these because they're really good for the environment compared to cotton pads. Um, and this soap, neutral soap, which I have to wash my eyebrows with. And the little pot of healing cream to prevent further scabbing. I have to apply this every two to three hours, but obviously today, the entire day, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm just not good with maintenance. Like, I'm the kind of person that needs, like, if I get something done, I don't want to have to look after it again. Like, constantly. Whereas, like, you know, with myself, like, if it's lip fillers or facials and fine, I'm okay because I'm not physically having to do it. Even, like, medication I'm not good with. Like, if it's, like, one pill in the morning, one pill in the evening, I'll have to, like, have a specific pill box, which is in front of me. Or in my bag, because I'll just forget. I'm really bad at that stuff, so yeah. You can imagine what a nightmare this has become. But um, I can feel like they've formed scabs, which is strange, because it's like, I want to pick them, but I shouldn't. Although um, she said I should wash them every day, websites say that I really should not be putting water on my brows, so I'm confused. But so far, nothing really bad has happened and I'm really liking them she did say she wanted to do some shading on the ends but I'm looking at them now and I don't want them to be too dark so I don't think I'll need any and another point with microblading it takes two sessions so one session I did yesterday and then the next session I'm doing in exactly a month's time so we'll update you guys in a month for a top up of the color and then it lasts for two years so then I have to don't have to touch anything. And when I was doing my makeup this morning, I actually picked up my eyebrow brush and I was like, oh, don't need this anymore. It's great. <laughs> it's amazing. Good morning, guys. It is 9 a.m. I woke up quite late today. I woke up at like 8. And um, do you just love how when I come on camera, I'm still like rubbing my eyes, waking up every time. I have got a chill day today, but I'm beginning my day with a shower. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my makeup, but first I need to choose my outfit and then shower, change and head to the salon because ever since I added more tape into my hair, I now have about 80 pieces. It has become extremely painful doing my hair. And it's just so long, like it's so long. So I really don't like doing my hair anymore. Not that I've ever enjoyed doing my own hair. So I'm just gonna go pop to the salon and my girl Lorena is gonna fix this. I think we might go for like soft waves today. Let's see. My battery's kind of low, so whilst I get changed, I'm gonna, whilst I shower and change, I'm gonna charge my battery pack and then get back to you guys. So the next time you'll see me, I'll have a full face of makeup on and be in a cute outfit. I don't actually know what I'm gonna wear today. It looks awful outside, but apparently the weather is gonna pick up around 1 p.m. in a couple hours and hit 14 degrees. <laughs> It's weird. It's like, it's like winter still. It's February. So really it should be like snowing and raining. One thing I hate about myself, very random, my inability to remember shit. It's just lot, like short term stuff. I don't remember. Like I didn't charge my camera. Okay. So I'm just finishing up at the salon. How long is this taking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an hour. <laughs> okay. Lorena's just gonna fix my hair and I'm gonna show you guys the final result. How amazing. My hair's so big. <laughs> this is exactly how I love my hair. Big and wavy and soft. 
So I'm back at Elise's. I'm literally just making one of my favorite snacks. I haven't yet had breakfast, so it's almost 12. So I decided maybe I would have lunch. So what I'm doing, because I know a lot of you guys are interested in seeing what I eat in a day, particularly when I'm home, what I like to do now more so than ever is make food at home before I go out to avoid having to eat unhealthy food. If I leave on a full stomach, I'm less likely to eat. So saying that, I, I don't like stopping myself from having nice food if I want it. So if I have a healthy lunch and I walk past Harry's or Bocconcino and I instantly think about pasta, I will go have a pasta because I don't believe I should prevent myself from eating good and eating nice. I don't believe in restricting myself to what I eat, so yeah. Today we are having tender stem broccolini in coconut oil with chili flakes, salt, and I'm going to be adding in some king prawns. Yum. Okay, so I definitely didn't spend hours trying to plate this dish, but I added one large flat mushroom and some San Marzano mushrooms because I love those. Hopefully this will be enough to keep me going until late lunch, early dinner. So yeah, we've just got to the Churchill. Here, you're not allowed to be on camera, are you? Yeah? Okay. Um, obviously I'm here with. <laughs> 20 and I didn't go to Taco Bell today because apparently someone got stabbed. <laughs> here is here. She's been a follower for like how many years? I have no idea. Since blogger days. Yeah. Since we actually had a blog. So like 14, 15. Not just in days. And she still likes us. Before the nose jobs. <laughs> before the nose jobs and plastic an surgery. So for lunch, lunch today at the Churchill Bar and Terrace, we ordered some cute mocktails. Um, corn, tagliatelle, right? Yeah. Um, sweet potato fries, what are these? Truffle what? Mac okay. and cheese balls. No, I don't know what they are, but I think yeah. they're truffle something. What is this? It's crab on toast. Yum. <laughs> and what is that? Like chicken fillet. Kind of oh, thing. fish. Sole. And also, oh. we're gonna get chocolate fondue later. It's yummy. Do it for the grand boo boo. Hey! <laughs> So guys, now we're in Katia because we're trying to find our mum a birthday present. Her birthstone, she's really lucky, her birthstone is a diamond. Why can we not be a diamond? Yeah, we're we amethyst. have bloody amethyst. What I don't even hell? like amethyst, I prefer like an emerald or something. I love emeralds. Yeah, I love emeralds. So we decided we would pitch in and get her something with a diamond. Actually quite fresh. Guys, so today I'm getting my laser done at Beauty Melody. I'm doing full body as well as full face. Which is why I have no makeup on. I love doing this first thing in the morning. So then I just literally have no makeup on the entire day. Um, but yeah, I basically... So when I'm in London, I do the Soprano laser. Soprano ice laser. And as you guys know, when I'm in Dubai, I do IPL because that's the treatment that we offer at Biolight. Honestly, I don't see a difference in either of them, just like in terms of results, I don't see a difference in either of them. Whereas I feel like the IPL is maybe a tiny bit more painful, but I feel like if it's more painful, it means it's more effective. I don't know, but um, both have been great. And yeah, I feel like I've been doing this forever because my hormones are all over the place. And um, Really the ideal time to start this is at 18, 16 to 18, once your hormones are more balanced, but I'm 23 and still doing this, so yeah. I mean, I've just come off the pill recently because I felt like that was affecting my hormones and my mental health as well, so that's why I came off it. And I also started to, also read a lot recently about people um, that are having trouble to conceive after coming off the pill for like, after being on the pill for like so long. So I was like, I don't want to be one of those people, God forbid. So yeah, so I decided to come off the pill because initially I started to regulate my periods because I was anemic and then I had loads of like issues. I've got um, polycystic ovary syndrome, like I said, but it's only on one side, it's like it's only on the left ovaries, which is weird. Um, but yeah, we'll go into that and maybe we'll do a different video. 
So I'm getting my full body done. Starting with I've done my face. Now I'm doing arms. It's literally painless and I feel like anything. Then again, I do kind of like being tolerant. But I'm also about to start my period, which is probably not the best time to get laser done because you feel more pain. Okay guys, so two hours later and I have finished my laser. It was honestly painless as always. And yeah, quite enjoyable. Just putting my jewelry back on. And then I think I'm gonna walk down to Selfridges. Perhaps grab some lunch there. And I kind of want to go try on. I want to see if they've got the gold Tom Fords that I want. So let's see. Hopefully they do. And then if so, I can get those today. Let's go. So I just got to Selfridges and unfortunately they don't do Tom Ford shoes here. Which is strange. But like I realised I've never actually seen Tom Ford here. Unfortunately Harrods don't have the colourway that I want so I might have to just get them online. At least I know my size because I tried on the white with gold at Harrods like two days ago. Okay, so I'm back home. I just finished my tuna, spicy tuna sandwich from Joe and the Juice, which was amazing. And I also got my favourite drink, which is hell of a nerve. It is basically elderflower, banana and strawberries. So good. But I just realised that all in all together it was about 800 calories which is half of my daily calorie intake not great not a great start to the week but this week i am going to be a full pescatarian <laughs> so fish vegetables and i am trying to cut out dairy and carbs after like 3 p.m like if i'm having carbs i'll have like a slice of toast in the morning with an egg but that is about it and then weekends i'm just gonna go ham on the pasta and pizza yeah and um this is because i have gained so much weight over <laughs> the festive period i'm still talking about december and january and it's like mid-february right now i just didn't bother until now which is a bit ridiculous because I didn't think that I'd need to because I was like, oh, it's winter, we're going to be wrapped up anyways, but it's sunny. Can't be looking like a potato my entire life. I need to do something about this. I'm going to start working out more than 15 minutes a day. <laughs> Probably, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> Let's see. So what I need to do now is put some makeup on, fix my face, get my stuff together, and I'm going to head to Elise's to finish up some work there she's having a home day today so i just thought i'd just go hang out with her at home because we're both just chilling i'm really upset i couldn't find the tom fords at selfridges so i'm gonna have a look online again see if they have them hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can see from the title I'm as you can see i ripped out my lashes last night i have no lashes these long ones they are actually they're still some of the extensions but i've had to put brown eyeliner on to kind of like blend out the gaps i've created i do not know why but last night i was laying in bed i couldn't sleep and all i did was just pull out my lashes and unfortunately i've created really bad gaps and my eyes are really sore because obviously i am going ham with a revised lash i've just ordered some castor oil i used vaseline last night and god i'm just praying for a miracle right now because from this month onwards, I've decided I'm going to be lashless. My lashes are just, they're not looking healthy at all. Every time I get my lashes done and they like look like they're falling out, I'll get them topped up. So I've never really had this issue where I've got like bald spots until now. So I just felt like I just wanted to have a break. I'm going to try my hardest to grow my natural lashes. And if that doesn't work in a month or so, actually I want to go to Dubai in probably like April. I'm kind of okay, like, accepting this look. I just, I don't like how my eyes look so small. I'm going to go for a blow dry because my hair is looking a mess. And then I'm going to go meet a friend for lunch. In between that, I'm probably going to head to Elise's for a bit and see if she has lash glue. 
Okay, so I've just got to the salon, I'm getting my hair done. Today, it's like 18 degrees, so I'm kind of naked. <laughs> Not really, but I'm still wearing a mink bolero because I can't trust this weather. So I'm back home, I just had my hair done. Um, my hair's a little bit too curly for my liking, so I'm just gonna fix it a little and then change my outfit and head back out. I feel like an idiot wearing fur right now, so I'm gonna switch it for a leather jacket because I don't really wanna be seen in fur in the sunshine. Like, it's just a bit ridiculous. Okay, so I'm at Elise's. I fixed my hair, kind of. And I'm gonna make lunch. So today we're having broccoli and extra fine beans. And I actually read in the comments that people were like, coconut oil is not good for you, babes. Olive oil is way better, so I'm gonna use olive oil today. We have olive oil, chili flakes, and salt. That's literally, it's literally all I've been eating. I would put this in the oven, but I'm really hungry and I don't have time to wait. A lot of you guys were like wondering why I eat off plastic plates if I'm actually like washing my dishes, like the pan and the vegetables that I eat. There is no simple explanation for this other than the fact that I am so lazy. I will do whatever it takes to make my life easier. Like literally, that's that's just it. I'm just lazy. Um, I'm actually really liking myself without lashes these days. And a lot of you guys said that you preferred me without lashes. I think it's a completely different look, but I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with it. I'm growing more and more used to it. But, um, yeah you also really enjoyed my revelations about living alone as you guys know if you've been following my vlog when i was in uni i was living alone it was like my first time living alone it was the hardest experience because i've grown up in my mother's house my entire life with house help like i don't think i had made a bed or in fact when i was living alone for uni i didn't even use a washing machine I would get dry cleaning done every day, but now I've actually learned how to use a washing machine and a dishwasher, and I'm trying to be more mature about the situation, so um, I can actually live comfortably alone, which is, it's actually become a lot easier. Um, I'm saving a lot more money, being a lot less frivolous when it comes to my spending. But you don't have a drying rack. So I have to rewash everything you put in there. Well, you don't have a drying rack. If you had a drying rack, you wouldn't have that problem. It's okay, you just leave it here. And then and you'll get water stains. That's fine, I'll get a drying rack. You can remove that. Remove the stains, it's a big deal. Don't want to smelly cutlery when I eat. Wash it with the soap. Wash all of them. I'm starving. This is like the last thing I want to do right now. I want to eat some like a day. Neither have I. So I added some of the leftover prawns and a pinch of paprika to give it a bit of colour and flavour. So that's lunch served. Mmm. <laughs> I literally just finished filming the end of the assumptions video. We have so many weird questions. Well not, well, not questions, assumptions to kind of address. And I think we addressed them all. Well, most These of the popular are ones. so like obsessed with money, it's kind of scary. Yeah, it's just a bit invasive. I just think you need help before you think about money. Would you like to come? Well, I'm going to go do um, my blow dry at 3.30, so what are you going to do? I'm going to Scots. Do you guys... I'm gonna go to Dubai, so let us guys know if we want to do like a half a Dubai vlog, half a London vlog. Like we've never done that before. We'll do that. Um, I you just don't. It's it like in the way. What What are you doing after? So we're gonna come home. Then we've got an event at five. We're just gonna get ready. Oh, I should probably do my makeup now, and then I've got another event at like six thirty. Well, red carpets at six thirty. Ooh, what are you wearing? Oh, I'm just gonna do like semi cash. Is that bath towel? I would tell. Yeah. For what event? It's like a fashion week, a fashion show event. Ooh. Um, I think we should do like more restaurant shit. Yeah, a lot of you guys like the restaurants we go to, so maybe we should just feature more restaurants. I really want to go to that place that's like on Instagram because apparently the French toast is there, like amazing. Yeah, and they've got a gossip milk cake. I met following in Covent Garden. I was at oh, the Apple store. Oh no, she worked in um some optician. Yeah, no, I was in the Apple Store and this girl came up to me. She goes, are you lady? I was like, yeah. You guys are so cute. And I get loads of messages from people, like, whenever I'm in Selfridges. They're like, oh, we saw you. We couldn't say hi because we were working. And I was like, 
done. I'm going for lunch. But I don't think I'm going to vlog lunch because my friends are weird like that. Oh my waiting? god, you guys want me to take over this vlog today? Why don't you take over? Guys, I'm going to take over this vlog and take you to the event with me. Yeah, do it. Shall I? Yeah. Okay, is there enough battery in this camera? Yeah, I charge it the whole night. Woo! Okay, okay guys, I'm going to save the memory for Elise to vlog, so... Handing over to Elise, who is going to be getting ready and going out soon. Okay, guys, so I've just applied some Huda Beauty lashes. I feel a bit more like myself now when I've got lashes on. Um, but I'm going to have to get used to having no lashes on. And I'm going to go see my friends now and then see what happens. But I will leave you in the safe hands of Elise. So I will love you and leave you guys. See you tomorrow. Wait, I don't know how she holds guys so one second let me just check that i'm not covering the mic hey guys so as you know uh Lely has already left she's going for dinner with her friends i mean lunch with her friends and okay wait no no, no let me just stop that again hey guys so as you know Lely's just left and she's gone for lunch with her friends and i am about to leave i'm gonna walk over to duck and dry i usually go to the king's road branch because it's like closest to me and the weather is so amazing so can't wait to walk um, and I'm just going to head over there now, get a blow dry, come back and get ready. I think I'm going to wear this tonight. Like I've just been trying on a few options, but this is a cropped kind of blazer that I found on ASOS. The top button is actually supposed to go up as well. Um, and I, I picked this up on ASOS and it's now sold out which is annoying and it, they didn't have a size six left i wish i got a smaller size this is an eight it's slightly big on me but you know what i absolutely love it i love the embellishments so i'm going to be wearing this tonight some of you may or may not know that i am a presenter as well i work for an online channel and i cover events and art exhibitions and fashion shows and all kinds of things so i've got two events to cover today um i'm going to be heading over to one in covent garden which is a launch event and the second one is at bagatelle okay guys so i just got to duck and dry i just love the interior in here it's so cute and they always do like a really good blow dry we're gonna get like curls today like i always do curls but i think it always looks so good because I can never do them on my own at home. So, yeah, I'm excited. Hey guys, so I've got my hair up at the moment. Um, my hair is so silky. My manager. My hair is so silky that it doesn't usually like stay. So I've asked her to keep it like super tight because I've got to shoot. Sorry, my eyelash. You know when your eyelash is like poking in the middle and you can't concentrate or anything? Yeah. Anyways, I've got to shoot tomorrow. So I kind of want my hair to stay for that. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know what my hair looks like when I'm done. And in the meantime, I just had a cappuccino, um, had to catch up on Hello, which is literally all about the Royals. Like, it's probably about, like, I'd say about 50% is literally about the Royals, if not more. But, you know, not going to complain because I do love them. And I'll let you guys know what my hair looks like soon. Hey guys, so just had my blow dry. I don't know how Lily gets this thing to like focus. Honestly. But yeah, it's like super bouncy and now I'm heading home because I'm late. So I will keep you guys posted. I can't pass a Joe and the Juice without going in and getting a power shake. Um, they are so good. And also, I don't know how Lely does this whole filming thing. Like, I feel so awkward, like, walking down King's Road right now. I feel like I'm getting judged so bad. Hey, guys. So, I'm nearly home. I am okay to vlog on this road because there's literally no one that would see me except for my neighbours, maybe. Um, but, okay, thank God my hair's kind of, like, dropped. I always tell them to do it, like, quite extra when I am at the salon because I know when I walk home, like, the wind and everything kind of, like blows all the curls out so yeah and you know what i am running late and i hate being late i think you know being on time is a form of good manners it really really is and i'm always so punctual with everything but today like I just didn't know what's happened so i'm just gonna go rush home now and get changed i literally have to change my jacket so not too much to really do when i get back Lily's calling Oh god, I just missed her call. 
Hello. Hi, where are you? Um, I just got to the Brasserie of Light. Um, you never go there with me. What's your point? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I just wanted to let you know that it's very awkward to vlog on my own. It's not. Like, I feel like everyone's just staring at me. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, guys, so... Just got home and... I'm just gonna... I ordered a bleaker burger when I was walking home, so I should be here in about 10 minutes now. Maybe less. Ooh, he's on his way. I just, I don't know, I've kind of been obsessed with bleak recently because it's really quick and when it's fresh it's so good. Like I usually just leave food to the last minute, like I'm running around, like as you guys can see right now I'm actually late. I'm just going to wait for my friend to come pick me up though and then we're going to head over together. Um, so yeah, I've got a little touch up my makeup. I haven't worn lashes in so long and I think... I've, I don't know, but you know when like, the corner like digs in, it's been irritating me all day, so I think I'm just going to like redo them. Right, sorry guys, I am going to Korea, really random, and also going to Ireland in a few days, so my schedule is literally like, kind of all over the place at the moment. I know that I don't really, I don't post much on YouTube, but Instagram is kind of like my platform at the moment, and that's where I post most of my stuff, so I am actually going to Ireland next week. I am going to go quickly run into the toilet and touch up my makeup. So my hoover is sitting here very prettily and it's like, you know what, I have to vacuum. I just loved handheld vacuums, like just look how, it's just so satisfying to see everything get sucked up. Do you know what I mean? That feeling is just, I drop stuff for no reason just to watch it get sucked up. Okay guys, this is my final look. Um, I feel really sick, I literally just wolfed down. A bleaker hamburger um and if any of you guys know like bleaker hamburger like it's not actually ham it's like beef i know some people in the comments might be like oh my god you eat ham like that's wrong but like no i don't eat ham thank you very much anyways this is my fun look this is from asos and fully sold out but i'll try and find a link something similar okay guys so heading out now this is my full outfit and my shoes I was going to change my Manolo's, but I literally didn't have time. Or I did. I'd rather. Oh, hey guys, so Jade and I are on our way Hello. to the event. <laughs> I want a hat. I want a hat. A bit manic right now. It's very manic. It's very, very manic. So guys, just got home. It's I think it's like eleven. No, ten thirty, which is a lot longer than expected. Oh gosh, this is really awkward. I'm I'm so tired. Like, I'm meeting tomorrow morning with Nas at Soho House. It's Nas and Laura Mercier. Doors open. Oh, I'm sorry, she distracted me. I'm so excited about. Sorry guys, I got really interrupted by the lift lady. Um, I just got, oh no, my battery's flashing low. Yeah, let me just quickly finish this. Um, so I 
have a meeting tomorrow morning with Nas and the Laura Mercier girls, which I'm so excited about because they are two brands that I absolutely love and adore and I use every day. Um, the Laura Mercier setting powder is life. I've been using it for ages and every day I use the Nars foundation. So these two brands are like major in my life and I'm so excited that the girls got in touch with me to meet me. So that's gonna be tomorrow. And I'm gonna have to end this vlog right here, even though I don't want to, even though I want you guys to join me to watch my crazy ex-girlfriend on Netflix. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. In Wait, let me do that again. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. Lady, do we even use Snapchat anymore? I don't know. Well, you guys know the drill. <laughs> And hopefully I might be doing some more vlogs if you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what I could improve on as well because this is so not my kind of thing. Um, so yeah. See you guys soon. Bye. Lady, I just saw you style now. <laughs> Everyone that says I don't eat and I'm like anorexic and they never see me eating. You literally see five minutes of my day. But here we go. It's like 12. I ordered some fries for myself. 10 chicken nuggets. It's actually amazing. Chili sauce. Garlic sauce. And I cannot wait to destroy these.